So good morning, it is Coach Erica here, your friendly and fabulous online personal trainer and menopause coach. If you haven't seen me for a while, um, I just do a little intro kind of chatting before I do this beginning. And I was on vacation, good morning, I was on vacation and then I was sick for a week. So I'm back. Today I just wanted to share my one of my latest hormone coaching clients and what we did with her for her to finally lose weight because I just had her last call of our five-week program and um, it was awesome I was so excited the first thing I want to address is is you know is talk of this hormone balance crap because I have seen that on Instagram people touting hormone balance, then other experts saying that's crap, your body balances hormones naturally, and you know your cortisol goes up and down naturally, this balancing of hormones, um, this talk is predatory and not true. And the thing about it is, number one, who is saying that? <laughs> number two, um, is that person certified? Is that person have a background in any kind of hormone, menopause, perimenopausal um, medicine or coaching? Number two, it's a very nuanced situation. So in general, do hormones balance themselves? Yes, they do. In general, do your hormones naturally fluctuate all the time, creating these peaks and valleys? Yes, that is true. Does it mean that the idea of balancing hormones is a bunch of crap? No, it doesn't. And that is because women going through this stage of life have very concrete changes to their bodies and their hormones that do affect how they lose weight, maintain muscle, experience energy shifts, all that stuff. It happens. And so in my program, what I want to do is educate you on how your estrogen changes, how your progesterone changes, how your cortisol is affected by all those things and how your cortisol affects how you feel. So does it mean that if you just magically balance your hormones and don't do anything else, you're going to lose weight? No, <laughs> that's why my program is over five weeks long and it includes not only that hormone info, but also strategies and um, shifts to your fitness, how you need to shift your nutrition, and then how you need to change your lifestyle. So always be aware of what you're listening to and watching and reading on social media. And if you need help, come to somebody like me who has multiple certifications in hormones and menopause treatment, I shouldn't say treatment, fitness and wellness coaching, um, and see how we can help. So that's number one. Okay, so number two, my, my uh, latest client just finished her five-week coaching program with me, and I'm gonna just talk about her eating because this was a big thing we changed. There are three things I wanna talk about that she did that finally enabled her to lose weight. Number one, I always make my clients track their eating in my fitness pal. You don't have to do it for the rest of your life, but for during our coaching, it really helps to see what you're eating. Because what I found is most people have no idea what a serving size is. They don't really know what they're eating throughout the day. So what we discovered with her is that she was not eating enough. She was eating under 1200 calories a day. That is not enough for anybody that I've ever coached to eat. So the first thing we did was actually boost the amount of food she was eating, which she was shocked because like many people, she just kept thinking she needed to restrict to lose weight but she had restricted so far that her body was not gonna lose any weight because it was like trying to hang on to everything that she was taking in and everything that she had, like her body fat, because she wasn't getting enough calories throughout the day. Number two, this is not going to be a surprise if you listen to me a lot, and that is she was not eating enough protein. So what she was eating, the amount of protein, carbs, and fat she was eating was not a good mix. So we bumped up her protein considerably to about that one gram per pound body weight. She doesn't always hit it, but that increased her calories as well. And because protein tends to be pretty dense, she also is feeling full enough. The last thing is that, it, and this was mostly a mental thing, and it was a really interesting conversation I had with her because I actually haven't had anyone talk to me about this, but it's probably something that many people do. And I talk about the 80-20 rule, right? So being um, mindful with healthy eating and fitness and all that stuff 80% of the time, 
If 20% of the time you're not great, you go out and party, you don't sleep, whatever. If you're doing 80, good, 20, not so great, then you're probably going to, in general, over time, do fine and hit your goals. However, depending on what your goals are. She, in her mind, was trying to do 100% perfect during the week. And then by the time Friday hit, she was like so tired and stressed and frazzled from trying to be 100% good that she kind of went crazy on the weekends and just ate and drank whatever she want. And basically, whatever she wanted. And basically, she kind of like just negated everything she had done during the week because the amount of calories she was consuming was way more than what she should have been for the whole week. So we shifted her mindset to think of 80-20 every day. Like on a daily basis, make 80% good decisions, maybe 20% not the best decisions. And then on the weekend, continue your 80-20, good morning. And then you have a much more balanced, healthy, and um, sustainable view on health and fitness throughout your whole life. Because if you're trying to be perfect during the week, then yeah, you're gonna be tired of trying to be perfect because newsflash, nobody's perfect. And on the weekend, you might go like totally off the rails. So once we shifted her mindset to never having to be perfect and just being 80-20 every day, she started making a lot better decisions. So that was the third change. The other thing is, and this is where many people also go wrong, is that she didn't lose any weight the first like 50% of the program. She just kind of stuck there, right? And many times that's where people give up. They're like, forget it, this isn't working, I'm gonna go try the new thing, I'm gonna go try the new thing. And then they're not doing anything for a long enough period of time, they're not working any program for a long enough period of time to see a result. So. We just kept doing what we were doing, and then all of a sudden, the very end of the program, she called me and said, you know what, I lost 18 pounds, then I didn't do so great the last week, two weeks, so I gained back five, but I'm down 13 total. And I was so excited for her, because that is huge. It was probably a total of seven weeks by the time, with different like illnesses and this and that, we didn't have coaching calls, so her program was about seven weeks total. And, in, and overall, she's lost 13 pounds. That is great. And the most important thing is she's made changes that are sustainable for the long run. So just a reminder, she wasn't eating enough. She wasn't eating enough protein, and we needed to shift her mindset to 80-20 on a daily basis. Now, would those things work for you? I don't know. Depends on where you are and what your goals are. So if you've been struggling, if you're a lady over 40 and you're noticing things are not working, you've tried everything, you know, this client went to another personal trainer, she went to a nutritionist, no one could quite lock it in for her and help her in the way that she needed based on her life stage, which is that she is going through menopause. So I have two slots two slots for my one-on-one hormone coaching program right now. I just finished two clients, so I have two new ones open. So contact me if you need help or you wanna chat about where you are and where your goal's at and go out, make it a great day. I'll see you next week.